Welcome to Earth, everyone, and let's look into our skies. Now, if you've actually looked into the skies from Earth anywhere in the last uh, week or so, so that's from October 15th to about Halloween, which is basically October 30th, you may have noticed there is a strange alignment of planets. Let me show you what I mean. And specifically, I'm talking about these objects right here. Now, what is happening? Let's briefly talk about it. And in the next video, I'm going to explain the math behind it. Welcome to What The Math. So you may have actually heard on the news that there is something called planetary alignment going on right now where we have three or actually more specifically four planets aligned in a way where you can actually see them directly um, if you live in a dark enough environment. So we have this right here, which is Mercury, which we have this right here, which is Jupiter. We have this, which is Venus, and then we have a faint Mars right here. So we can actually see them all in the same spot in the sky if you're in a dark enough place. So what exactly is happening? So let's actually move a little bit closer to them just so we can see what is going on exactly. So here comes Mercury and uh, Venus and there comes Mars and now we're going to reach Jupiter. So let's actually talk about this using, oh, too, too fast, using Universe Sandbox 2 and I'm going to show you exactly what is going on here. And here is Jupiter. Even though it has rings, this is actually Jupiter and not Saturn. Because Jupiter also has rings. Alright, so let's talk about this. And so this is what uh, the orbits of our planet look like when they're basically orbiting around the sun. And so we're going to actually stop this and go and recreate the same thing but at a specific date. So right here in the solar system, let's click on this. We're going to choose uh, the date of, let's just say October 15th. And we're also going to start paused and let's create the solar system and see what it looks like. So here's October 15th and it doesn't really look like there's any alignment and no, there's no line created by these planets. So what are we talking about exactly? So if we were to zoom in on Earth right here and look toward Jupiter, what we would see is, look at that. Here's Venus, here's Jupiter, here's Mars and here's Mercury. So why is it that we call it alignment then, if, even, even though it doesn't actually look like they, they have an actual line here? So obviously they're not aligned if you look at it from this perspective, but they are kind of aligned if you look at it from this perspective. So if I were to actually join Venus, Mars and Jupiter, right here there seems to be a line between them. So that's really why we call it alignment, because even though it's not a true line, it does look like they're sort of one against another. Now, does this happen very often and is, it, is this a very common um, phenomenon? Is it rare? Is it going to happen in your lifetime? Well, the three planet alignment is actually quite, quite common. The four planet alignment where it's going to be Venus, Mars, Jupiter and let's just say Saturn is very rare. Um, I'm going to explain math behind this uh, in the future videos, but here let's actually just talk about this particular alignment. So Venus, Mars and Jupiter, when is the next time you'll actually see this? Or let's just say uh, Venus, Mercury, and Mars, or something like three planet alignment. Let's just let this. We're going to uh, run this, and Jupiter is going to be our target right now. We're going to be just looking for Jupiter because Jupiter is easy to see in the sky. So let's see when else is another alignment of stars going to occur with Jupiter being one of them. Not stars, sorry, planets. Planets. What am I talking about? They look like stars in the sky, but they're actually planets. Uh, so I'm gonna. I'm gonna think I'm going a little bit too fast. And right about now, here comes Mercury and stop right there mercury venus and jupiter this will happen on what is this uh july no sorry august 27th so on Aug in next year in august so august 2016th there's going to be another alignment this time it's going to be mercury venus and jupiter and it's going to be um relatively easy to see it's going to last a few less days it's actually going to be maybe two three days only because mercury moves really fast so as soon as i advance time here comes Mercury and it's gone. That's it. No more alignment. Uh, but this will be next year. All right, what, what about the next one? So let's keep looking at Jupiter. And let's see if this happens again. So obviously Mercury, Jupiter alignment here. The thing is, it's going to be kind of hard to see because Sun is actually relatively close as well. So you may only see this really early in the morning, like for a few minutes. Uh, and I don't think anyone's willing to wake up that early just to see a two planet alignment. I think I definitely won't be waking up that morning because I like to sleep. So let's look for the next one. 
So as you can see right now, there's nothing. There's going to be Mars-Jupiter alignment a few times, maybe every second year, mostly because Mars and Jupiter, uh, Jupiter orbits a lot slower and Mars will often pass by in front of it. But Mars is kind of hard to see. It's actually very, relatively dim in the sky. Um, and Jupiter will usually overshadow it because it's much br brighter. And the date is now 2021. So I'm going to keep running this and let's see something's coming up i can feel it i can almost feel that something's coming up i'm gonna maybe slow down time a little bit so jupiter is right there and saturn is really close to it actually and so this is march 2022 so we have jupiter and mercury alignment right now and now we have look at that v uh, neptune jupiter venus and mars and right around now we have venus jupiter and neptune neptune is kind of hard to see so we won't be able really to uh, see it that well uh, but jupiter venus and mars will be visible again in 2020 uh 2022 so mars jupiter and venus will once again align with mercury somewhere over here but you'll definitely be able to see a venus mars and jupiter again they won't be as close together as they are today but they'll still be visible so let's look at it again so here's Venus, Mars, and Jupiter. It is March 2022. And right about here, this is what you'll probably see. So you'll see Venus and Jupiter really close together. You'll see Mars a little bit off in the distance. And let's wait for Mercury to get here as well. All right, so this is what you'll probably see. So there's going to be Jupiter in the middle, and then Venus a little bit to the left, and Mars a little bit to the right, or possibly other way around, because you might be looking at it upside down as well. And this will be the next sort of alignment, and this will happen in 2022 somewhere around May 2022, possibly May 10th or so, uh, where Venus and Mars will be sort of around Jupiter. And then if you really have a powerful telescope or binoculars, you might even see Neptune behind them. Now, it's not as linear as the alignment we have today, but this is probably the next closest one that we'll have where you'll see at least three planets um, in the sky at the same time. And so this is what the alignments are in a nutshell. We're going to have quite a lot of them uh, in our lifetime. You'll see different planets align at different times. There will be alignments with Saturn. There will be alignments with Mercury, Venus, and Mars. And these happen quite a lot, actually. And you'll definitely have more alignments with Jupiter, Mars, and Venus. And in the next video, I'm going to show you the math behind this, where you can actually possibly even calculate the next one yourself. Anyway, thank you for watching. Game you later, guys. And bye-bye. And don't forget to check out some of the other Universe Unbox 2 videos right here. Game you later.